Hey, Blue. Oh, yeah, no interest. There you go. Oh, goodness gracious. There you go, buddies. Perfect. They are both acclimating to the 160 gallon. This is going to be insane. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video here. Today is the day. We're getting these platinum red tail catfish right here. See them right there, and there's another one over there. Look how big that one is. Not as platinum, but definitely still a platinum, and uh, very, very big. They're getting huge. Too big for this tank. Oh, and there's a clown knife in there too. I don't think I ever showed the clown knife, but I got a clown knife a bit ago. Just to put into this tank right here. The 160 in the Waz, you know, we redid it into like a predator tank. I wanted to put predatory fish in here, uh, mostly inspired by predatory fins. I wanted to do something that was really cool. So black sand, a really cool driftwood structure with a bunch of live plants around it, and then have all like white or lighter fish inside this tank. Before we do anything though, we do need to make a trip to Home Depot because we need to find out a way to hang this light right here. This light's really, really heavy and um, it won't sit on top of what I used to have the old light on, and the old light was much lighter. So we gotta figure out maybe like, we're gonna get wood probably and drill the uh, wood into here and then into the wall right there, and just hang it above. This is a very, very bright light, and I believe it's gonna work just fine. By the way, do you remember when we got these crawfish, these little blue crawfish, and they were like this big, we made videos on them? Look how big they are. I mean, it's incredible. Look at how big that thing is. Look at how massive they are now. They're huge. All of our crawfish just chilling. It is good to be home, let's just say that. Look at the white one on top of this right here. And the red one is back there. You can see its tail right there. You can kind of see its tail. He's hiding behind the wood. Angelfish, tiger barbs, Columbia tetras, giant daniels, everything is in here. Clown loaches, quarry cats, and all that stuff are in the 90 gallon where George used to be. They're all actually inside that wood. They go in that hole right there and it's dark in there. And then I had Nick come over and put the Beicher into the 160 for me. Uh, you know the Beicher was in the 90 gallon before. But we're trying to get all the big predator fish into this. So obviously the light's not on right now, but you can see them right there. I cannot wait to show you how big these piglets have gotten. And then last week they've grown so much. Right now they're actually eating youth Missouri pig food. So they're finally moving on to the youth food. They're still drinking a little milk from mom, but look at this one, what is he doing? What are you doing, playing with hay? They've just grown so, oh, oh, oh. I do need to name one of these piglets soon. It's just, naming a pet that's this important, it's gonna be around so much, like Lulu and Bubba, it's gotta be a good name. So we're still looking, my mom's trying to pick one this time. As you know, this is Baloo. Hey Baloo. Oh. Yeah, no interest. Comment down below a name for the next female pig. Down in the comments down below on this video too. Why not? I gotta feed you guys. Holy moly, you're so big. The chickens are growing. There you go. Oh, goodness gracious. There you go, buddies. These little chickens are crazy. All right. Mom's back in. Now I gotta get Bubba. Bubba. Oh my gosh. This is the first time Bubba has ever got muddy. Oh my goodness. Bubba. You don't even like the mud. You're never in the mud. You're the only pig. Okay. It's actually so cool because he's always so afraid of the mud and stuff, and he clearly went in it. Bubba, you gotta let me open the door. Okay. Both pigs are in. We're good to head to Home Depot. I'm glad to see Bubba's finally getting all muddy. A lot of the times, I believe the pigs just do that when it's really hot out. They get that cold water and mud on their chest, and it just keeps them cool. Without further ado, though, let's go to Home Depot. Two pieces of plywood like this right here. See how they're thin? Long pieces, we can cut them. And uh, I believe that'll work just in case. We're just getting stuff just in case. All right, now I'll show you what I'm talking about. Since it's thin, right, you can actually slide it under. And you got yourself a good old barrier. So now we're gonna cut this right here, and we're gonna do like four of them. So I bought two of these, so one, two, three, four, and it'll really hold this lid right here up. 17 and a half. There it is. Slip it under and uh, rock solid support. There it is. That's all it takes right there. As you can see, perfectly lined up with the tank. And now we're gonna do that uh, maybe just one more time right here, to be honest.
that is what I'm talking about right there. We got both supporters right here. This top is on, as you can see, there's just barely even a slight little tiny entrance there, which is pretty good. This is open right here because I'm gonna put the canister filter that the Platinum Red Tail Catfish have in their tank right here, so that'll pretty much cover up. This is where all the filtration will obviously go. I got the automatic water change right here. I'll end up covering all this up eventually. Gotta turn this light off in this room. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that now. And just cleaning away. Beicher is now chilling, and guess what? As you can see, glass is so clear now. Bubbler on that side, bubbler behind all the wood right there. There you go, better view at that. This looks so much better now. If you're coming and you're sitting on the couch here, and yeah, that's from the tank overflowing. We have to like redo the whole baseboard, see the mold. <clears throat> but this is so sick. Look at it from a far view. What do you think? Definitely better than it was before, 100%. And the red tails aren't even in there yet. We're gonna get a bucket, put the bucket down there, get a little tiny tube, and drip acclimate these red tails into this 160 gallon for them to upgrade a tank because they grow so quick. Who knows even how long they will be until they grow out of that. All right, I'm sucking some water out right now from this tank, putting it in a bucket so that I can net both these guys out in just a second, but I gotta fill this bucket real quick. I've actually been waiting to do this for a very, very long time. Feels like a couple months now. I believe Nick is actually bringing over a albino Oscar as well. So, an albino clown knife, the Beicher, and two platinum red tails. So, everything is gonna be like a light color so far. There we go. Perfect. Wow, that thing is beautiful, holy moly. All right, we are going to do one at a time. I don't want to put uh, both of them in this little tiny five gallon. So I'm gonna get this five gallon right here, let that fill up and bring this guy over to here for now. Going into a much better home. Bigger and better. All right, let's swim right out. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And here is our albino clown knife. I don't know if I ever filmed that little guy, but he is, uh, he's grown a lot. He hit a lot of the time, so that's probably why I never even filmed him, but I've had him for a little bit. That was Nick's old uh, albino clown knife, and uh, he's doing good. Surprisingly, these catfish have not even tried messing with him. Probably because I feed him so well, but this tank is now completely empty. These guys are still, I'm gonna let it fill a little more. Over here, this guy is getting acclimated, as you can see. This thing is so key because now that I'm taking out water to acclimate these fish, I could just go pour this outside. Instead of having to bring a hose to the window, all I do is turn that valve and look, fresh water is coming right in and it'll just fill the tank back up for me. It is just so easy. All right, fellas, I'll catch up with you in, in just a second. All right, oh yeah, by the way, shout out to everyone for sending fan art. This place is looking really, really good. And uh, if you want to send some, P.O. Box is linked down in the description. Address is linked, obviously. Okay. We're right, time to put the red tails in. All right, let's remove the acclimating tubes. Look at how beautiful these things are. Is that incredible? This thing's tail is so red. I love it. All right, I'm going to get them in from this side, but I'm actually going to put the camera on this side so you can see them swim in. So there that is, right there. There's one. Holy moly. So long, buddy. Yes. So sick. Look at you. Look at the pattern on that fish. That is such a beaut. They're very chill in the net too, which is a good thing. See you later, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at clown knife, bicer, two platinum red tails. Let me get the light on straight. I'm freaking out. Holy moly. It looks so much better. So much better in this tank, it's not even funny. Look at how beautiful that fish is. This is insane. So now what I think is we got the bottom fish because the Beicher, the two platinum red tails, and really the clown knife hides a lot of time besides nighttime. We don't really have too much action on top. So we're gonna do an albino arowana for sure. I'm texting predatory right now actually. And then maybe like one midwater column swimming fish. So definitely the albino arowana, but what is that midwater column swimming fish? You let me know in the comments down below. What should we get? It has to be albino of course, but this is going to be insane. 
I have now also hooked up the canister filter to this 160 gallon tank here. As you can see, as you can see this whole side right here is really where all the filtration is. Everything's real neat back here and uh, that is that, the 160 gallon. That is all I've got for you today. If you did go on to enjoy, of course, subscribe to the channel down below. It's completely free. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload. And of course, like this video. Can we hit 10,000 likes? Daniel, you think we can hit 10,000 likes? Yeah. No, probably 15. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Amy. Paul, you are my favorite YouTuber. Keep up the good work. You inspire me to get a pond. And it's got five likes. 